Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. Starting from January 1, 2021, the UK is no longer part of the European Union. As a farewell to our closest offshore neighbours, I'm going to show some vehicles that are used or were used in the London public transport system. We start with this Matchbox tooling. So you can see it's in an original blue blister card. It's got some uh, packaging damage to it. That's why it's about time it's been freed up. So this is called the Car Bodies Taxi FX4R and it was made from 1987 till 1991 in this version. Uh, the casting itself until 2002. So it's got opening doors, it's metal on metal. It's got the suicide doors of course. Some packaging rub here on the side too, obviously. Got the grey interior, got the backwards seats. Just behind the driver, right hand drive of course. Being a British vehicle. Got those classic rims. Got the license plate cast into the body, front and back. And the grill is part of the base. Little taxi sign on top, it doesn't actually say anything. And then in 2006 they released a new casting called the Austin FX4 London Taxi. This on this card is just called London Taxi. This is the first release. I have uh, almost every mainline release and one five pack release. I don't have any of the special releases. There were quite a few special releases. So this is a 2005 first release. Also in black. No more opening doors. No more metal base. And this one's got a tan interior. It's got no deco in the back. So it's got uh, deco in the front, the headlights indicators and then the taxi sign on top. Still right hand drive. And it's got uh, the, the seats behind the driver are not visible. I think those are fold up ones. So they might be cast into the into the plastic as a fold up seat. Then in 2006 we got a few silver ones. This is one version with this type of rims, black interior. Also gets the details in the front, but also in the back with a license plate. Very nice. Great plastic base. And then we got this one, Austin FX4 London Taxi. So pretty much the same as the other one, but with these disc wheels. And there's also a version of uh, this one with the chrome base. The silver is slightly different, but you know you won't, uh, won't see that on the camera. Then in 2007 we got this light blue one. So nothing front and back, just on the side. The tan interior does get the taxi logo on top. That's cool. Let's see how much it cost back then. Got the black steelies on it. And then in 2008, got this one. Doesn't say London on the card here. So nothing front and back, everything on the side, 24 hour service, driver does not carry more than 20 pounds, funny, and here's the taxi fares again, black interior, and then recolored that same year in this kind of primer grey one. So 
So again, nothing front and back, everything on the side, same text. And then we skip a few years, there were a few 5-pack releases then. And then in 2012 we see it again in the main line. Here again it says a London taxi. It's got this uh, kind of brown gold base with the gold hubcaps. First royal cab, yellow windows, I'm not that keen of, and white interior. Nothing front and back. 2012 they also released a black one again, just like this one, but with these hubcap wheels on it. Very nice looking version, don't have that one to show you, unfortunately. And then in 2013 was the last mainline release, 60th anniversary, again it says London on it, in blue. Austin FX London Taxi. With a gray base and a yeah, light gray interior with the hubcaps. The five pack version I have is this one. This one is from 2007 from the Euro Classics, kind of a metal flake maroon color. Uh, the grill painted and the headlights, the taxi sign, nothing on the back. Well, he also did the London taxi. This is in a French packaging. That's okay. Austin FX4 London Taxi it is called. It's got the classic style wheels on it. So this is basically full deco like um, welly often are. Get the grill, get the headlights with the small lights there also in silver. I think or is it meh? It's a little bit orange, orangey the indicators but you know hard to tell. Silver paint on the windscreen wipers. Got this uh, taxi sign on top. That seems to be a separate piece. Yeah, I think it is. Got the chrome on the sides on the rocker panel uh, in the middle of the door here and on the door handles. And then across the above the windows. And in the back we got uh, just the tail lights down, a black bumper that's part of the base. It's right-hand drive, it's got side mirrors, just like the Matchbox 2006 model had. The early one did not have side mirrors. So only the driver's seats, nothing next to him. And then in the back, probably some fold-up seats there. And then the back seat all the way in the back. Cool, nice model. Here I got a model that is called Juniors. It's metal on metal. It's a second hand, so it's got some uh, flea bites. Got opening doors, red interior. It's got the uh, grill as part of the base. So kind of similar to the Matchbox one. And this one is also pretty similar. This is a Corgi. Also metal on metal, made in Great Britain. Opening doors, also red interior. Also got the grill part of the base. So I thought this, this might have been a Corgi Juniors, but when you put them next to one another, uh, they are quite different. The grill is not the same shape. The Juniors one is wider than the Corgi one, which is more narrow. And the license plate is a kind of different size. 
Also the taxi sign on, on top is different. And in the back also you can see there's some uh, some difference in details here. So if it was a Corgi Juniors, if it is a Corgi Juniors, then they kind of remodeled it, but you know, it doesn't say Corgi anywhere, so hard to tell. Corgi also did a newer model of the London taxi. This is in a uh, London 2012 packaging. Licensed by the Olympics. This is a version of the modernized London taxi. TX1 taxi. So we got uh, some authentic looking rims here. No more suicide doors on this one. It's got the door handle in the back. It's got the 2012 license plate and uh, some silver above. Taxi sign is not detailed, but you get the headlights, the grill, London, license plates, and then some uh, boxing livery. They did several one of these in several colors for different uh, sports. Right hand drive, also no seat on the other side, some luggage there it seems. And here, here you can clearly see the fold up seats on the back of the screen. There's actually a screen between the driver and the passengers. That's cool. Nice one. And then the last one is the new Matchbox electric one called the LEVC TX Taxi, a London Electric Vehicle Company, I believe that stands for. Got no interior, unfortunately. It's got uh, some plastic in the roof. Do get uh, fully decked out in the back and in the front. Taxi sign has taxi casted into the body. Cool. And then we get to the London buses. We start with the Route Master. Uh, this is a remake of the original Route Master casting. Courtesy of Mr. David Johns from Twice Deck Diecast on YouTube. Check him out. So let's open it up. Let's see what it looks like. It is full metal, so that's cool. Comes with the matchbox. Matchbox made in China, it says. So that is how small these were back then. Number five, some gold paint on the grill. And no interior. So very simple. And it can be put in this little matchbox box like that. Nice and neat. Then they did a bunch of other matchbox castings I don't have any example of. And then the next one I have is the 2006 version of the Rootmaster Double Decker. Uh, I have every single uh, mainline release of it, but I don't have any of the special releases. So it's called Double Decker on the card. This is 2006 release. We got a plastic base and it says double decker on the base right there. The British invasion continues. We got no deco on the front or the rear, just on the sides. Since 1953 Matchbox has been 
committed to building the best diecast vehicles in the world. Two thousand seven, we got this blue one called Root Master Bus on the card. Matchbox toys on the side. Nothing special interior-wise, but you know you get a full metal casting. So even uh, that time, it was pretty uh, extraordinary. 2008, next year, got this gold one called Root Master Bus again. This was celebrating 55 plus years of quality and heritage. Two thousand and nine got a green one. The Matchbox Transport Sightseeing Tours. For quality diecast, make you your next stop Matchbox. Sightseeing with live commentary. And then 2010, we got the last mainline one, and then they decided it had become too heavy for the mainline. Again in red, like the first one, adventures just don't just happen. What is your adventure? With the Union Jack on it. Also got some other brands, diecast brands that did the Rootmaster. Here's a Tomica. Scale 1 to 86 London Bus RM for Rootmaster. Made in Japan. So it's a little bit bigger in scale as you can see here. That's the, the matchbox. It's the sightseeing one with the, without the top on. The stairs is detailed and the interior also yeah, quite nice. Got the silver grill and some uh, tampos there. Got an oldie here. It's quite bigger. It's a Dinky Toys. Made in England, metal on metal. It's from my childhood collection. King's Cross. So even a metal interior on the on the ground floor, but the top floor is a plastic interior. Also got the chrome painted grill. And some other odd advertising on the other side. This one is also from my childhood. I think this one was brought home from someone who visited London, I think. It says Emperor So Limited, made in Hong Kong. Maybe there's some info on the bus itself of who made it. Let's see. No, it just says Emperor So Limited. Metal on metal. So Big Ben, got some paint here on the front, and then Big Ben sticker that's kind of letting go. So kind of uh, the stuff tourists would buy when they visited London. There's no interior, no staircase, and then I recently got this welly from the local supermarket. Plastic base, got the rubber tires because it's a pullback, but it's pretty heavy so 
<laughs> doesn't really go very fast. That's okay. Got some uh, info there. Oxford Circus, Queensway, Notting Hill, Shepherd's Bush. It's got a kind of a tan interior. Separate piece for the grill. Separate black steering wheel. Uh, got an interior, but of course the the engine is kind of needs to have a spot too. But it does have a staircase and stuff. So. Looks okay. And then we got the new Route Master bus. This one is done by Tiny from Hong Kong. London General Livery TLT60. Let's take a look. Plastic base, this is just says made in China here in the front and then some info. The tiny logo, Toy East Limited. Jewelry's in the back. Mm, it's um yeah, it seems to be metal body, but of course there's a lot of glass in it, so that's some way to it. Seems to have some air conditioning on top there, or what is that? Maybe just a ventilation hatch. Nicely detailed headlights, LED headlights, license plate, logo, small lights here, Liverpool Street. London is great. The logo of the uh, underground, kind of the public transport logo of London, I believe. Staircase, pretty short one. Or not? No, no, it continues. I thought it kind of stopped there, but it uh, goes all the way to the top, it seems. In the back, we got the tail lights done, license plate, warning sign for cyclists. Can we see the staircase here? Nah, not really. But yeah, all in all, it's nicely detailed. Let's try to see inside there, driver's spot, yeah, it's got a proper steering wheel, that's nice. Yeah. Some comfy seats over here. Much better than the ones upstairs, it seems. Cool. And then I got this big one from Corgi. This is a courtesy of JK. He got me this one in the Paddington theme. Let's see, is this all taped up? Yeah, I think so, but maybe I can get it out. No. Got this twisty thing. I need to untwist. Maybe in the meantime, we can uh, kind of read what it says on the box. Gonna have to cut it free. The knife. All right. Here it is. 
So just cocky toys here. And here copyright. So got plastic tires, plastic baits, metal body. Some details in the front, headlights kind of similar than the, how uh, Tiny did them. Got this yellow painted floor, it is probably accurate. And here in the back too, staircase, yellow pole. Got some details in the back. And then we got Paddington on top too. Let's see if you can see something on top there. Seems to have a second staircase. I thought when I saw the tiny one. There was a staircase there too, and now I see it on this one too. So apparently there's two staircases on these new ones. I don't think that was the case on the old ones. I can uh, see well, yeah. And then we got some more square buses. This is uh, unfortunately not an, uh, a mint one, it's the only one I have. This is uh, called the Londoner, copyright 1972. This is based on a Daimler bus. This particular Burger Paints livery was made from 1974 till 1981. And then they also did a another one, a Leyland Titan. This is a 2000 release called London Bus. From 2000. It's a little different than the Daimler one. Here's a uh, release from 2002, also called London Bus. Union Jack Tours. And the last one, also a matchbox and plate, plate with condition, is a Super Kings. The Londoner, made in England, 1972 copyright. It's got the moving doors. Seems to have some suspension. Completely metal. So that's it for this video. Make sure to watch the second one too. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.